Then 21 days, almost full closure. There was no pigmentation of these people, these kids. Uh, the pain was reduced. Uh, this kid, actually, his mom was cooking and she was carrying him in his hand. And she was cooking a pot and then he moved and he slipped and his hand came into the... Uh, uh, so you can see the progress here. And it was reflected. He's, uh, he was walking and he slipped into a fire dent and, and his leg was... So, uh, so where do you find fibroblasts? What, what's the relationship between fibroblasts and, and skin? And if you take somebody like 65 years old woman, and this is how wrinkles will look like under the microscope, this damage here, and this is ulbarius corneum scrotum, uh, or scrotum corneum, and this is, you see the damage. Fibroblasts are here. These are the small dots here, and the, the, these are the fibroblasts. And what happens is as we grow, the number of fibroblasts reduce. So you have uh, light, UV light, uh, uh, habits, smoking, drinking, so forth, and just the process of aging, we lose, we lose cell mass. And, and fibroblasts, actually, if you take this same section from a seven years old boy or girl, you'll see this area will be very dense with fibroblasts. So there's a correlation with the number of fibroblasts and, the, and how our skin deteriorates. And the thing is, if you want to use the fibroblast, uh, uh, to bring the skin, we have to take these fibroblasts and re-inject them in all. It will take us a thousand years just to put all the cells back. So there's no way we can we can you know reverse this process or you know trans uh, uh, do a transplant with the, with the uh, fibroblast. So one way to do it is to take these fibroblasts, grow them outside, give them the environment that they are in the skin, and then whatever they will produce here naturally, they'll produce outside in the, in the, in, the, in the lab in the tube and then apply it topically. And this way you'll make up for the lost fibroblast. And actually this is what I did. Or this is what, you know, not just me, but other people did. So they just, you know, they couldn't put fibroblast again in the skin. So what they did, they just took the fibroblast out, grow them, and then give them the signal that they're in the skin, and then allow them to apply topically to make up for the aging. So this reduced aging and or the anti-aging process. In 2003, a company came out with, the, you know, with this idea. And I start looking after I find out this, I start looking up literature to see what's, what's on there and how this works. And then I realized that will be a very good source or a way to produce growth factor and to produce product that will do this healing. Uh, so I went back to the board, uh, drawing board and I decided to say, it's been done before, but how can we, I improve? So just like wine, making, you know, everybody knows how to make wine. It's been done in the thousands of years. <clears throat> what makes this company's wine better than the other is actually the process is almost the same. It's just the grapes quality will determine the wind you do with them and so forth. So the process will e really improve. So what I did, this is in my lab in, in UC Irvine, in the immunology, uh, Institute for Immunology, and this machine here called, behind me called MoFlow. MoFlow is actually, you know, the, just the machine. It actually will start from here and all the way. It's a huge machine. And its own purpose is one single purpose is actually to isolate cells. So Moflo is a cell sorter. So if you put the 10 million cells, red cells, in the tube, and then there's one of them is green, and you just want to take this green out, this machine will allow you to do it. And as immunologists, literally, I spend a lot of days, <laughs> years, in fact, uh, you know, doing this because this is what I do. I work on B cells, and I knew how to get the best cells. So I went and found the source where I can the best growth factor or the best fibroblast or mostly progenitor fibroblasts, because I want to catch the fibroblasts before they have an identity so I can manipulate them earlier. So I use this machine. So I recognize will be what will be the best source of fibroblasts. Uh, and then I use the way advanced technology to really isolate these cells that I want, really pick them one by one. And then divide a soup or a, uh, a culture process for these cells to grow and flourish so they give them the best environment. And then divide also design a way to col collect this this source of uh, of uh, protein or growth factors. So, you know, you can imagine <coughs> it was a very long and hideous work. And uh, so this is what the starting point. And then a lot of the people say, okay, you know, there's a lot of source for fibroblasts. Why did you have to go through all this trouble to get really one by one and go through all this hideous work and very expensive work, you know? And, 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 and that's actually a very 
valid question. I've been asked while the pro doing this process, everybody's like, just go get in fibroblast from any, just go and call somebody and they'll send you cells and just grow them and do whatever. And I said, actually, the source of the cell and then what type of cells you use will determine the quality of your product, just like making wine. So, you know, so one way to answer this question is like, what difference does it make to go through all this work? So I said, I need to compare what I'm going to do with other products that are, have the same technology. And this is what I did. So, again, I started what the company used to be, ANG. And uh, so what I did, I went to TNS, which is Nucuris, uh, Schemedica, which have the same idea. Fitz Dr. Fitzpatrick came up with the same idea also through wound healing, and he realized fibroblasts can be a really good source, or growth factor will be a really good source for anti-aging. So they came up with uh, TNS complex, which is, uh, came out in 2003. And it was really a hit, uh, to say the least. It was a revolution, actually, in the skincare to have a product, and it was, in America, it's almost in every dermatology clinic, you'll see TNS. Uh, and so, and then when they did the study, this is the, the score, you know, the result was, that came, and they'll, you go to their website, they'll tell you the result will come after three, optimum result will show up after three months. Uh, but it's actually the only product that will give you a result. Uh, and it was, uh, a paper was, was uh, published in 2006, to show their you know, technology and how it works. And then another company came called Nucutis and they came with a product called Biogel. And the problem with TNS, I don't know if some of you, I'm sure some of you have tried it or knew about it, it smells really bad. Uh, I, I always try to find a very nice way to say it or you know, gentle way to say it, but really smell like shit. Uh, and understandably so, because you know I'll t I can talk to you about the technology. And then the TNS became a very popular uh, nickname for it in America. It's called "Tonight No Sex." <laughs> Reason why? Because the, when 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 female put it on, you know, at night and go to bed, the husband don't want to even come close to them, you know. And if if you see it around, uh, please just you know squeeze, try it and smell it, so you you'll know what I mean. And then Biogel came in and Nucutis in out of San Francisco, and they knew the pro they knew the, the they knew the technology is great. They just and they knew the, pro the problem with TNS. So what they did, they came instead of putting it in serum, which is really the best way to delivery product is serum form. They say we can't do serum; we have to do it in a cream because the cream will make a thick cream to to mask the smell. And this is what they did. And they take over, you know, they start competing with TNS. Uh, for the longest time, I think a lot, still a lot of people will, will prefer Biogel because it's, it's thicker, doesn't have the smell, so, you know, the growth factor, and a lot of doctors are already hooked in the growth factor products. Then came Revive, and Revive was by Dr. Brown in New York, and what he did, he said, you know, we know growth factor is the answer because he actually used both of these products in his office. But he said, I want to be different, so he went and used crinocytes as opposed to fibroblasts, and crinocytes are actually the upper surface cells your skin, and they, do, they, they, they are the one who will produce a uh, keratin. And, and keratin sites also have a growth factor on them. They produce growth factor, not so much as the fibroblasts, but they do. Uh, the problem with that is that the keratin sites are not made to live long. So culture of them is really a headache. So he went and, and combined with a, with a lab in Switzerland, and they start doing that. Because they, the keratin sites are hard to, to grow and hard to process, uh, you know, they came up with the product, and the product was actually very successful. The problem with that is what the price. So for a small vial, actually small, same size as the eye, which is female, in the U.S. sold for three ninety nine. I'm not sure how much it sell in the in the in the U.K. And it sell for three ninety nine just for a small one. And 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 then now we have a product called Volumizer. It's sold for six ninety nine in the markets. Actually, I, I was there to see it, uh, and it's a great product. The problem is. It's very expensive, and, and uh, not everybody can afford it. And a lot of doctors say, we cannot carry it because our patient will never spend it. And if they spend this much on the product, they won't spend that much with me in the procedure where I make most of my money. So the doctor basically don't, didn't carry it in their office, and nobody was selling it. So Dr. Brown actually sell it himself, literally. So if you go to his website, uh, if you go to Revive and then you say Dr. Brown, you click on Dr. Brown, it will show you his schedule, his calendar, where he's going to be, and he will come in, and then his, his PR people will, will put flyers and invite people to come in his lecture, and then he will do, stand just like me and talk to people about the product and how great it is, and then afterward, there will be two benches in the door where, you know, they sell the product because I attended the show. 
you know, and they sell the product. So he sell it himself because he couldn't have a hard time retailing it. And, and it became, you know, and then he started putting to associate with celebrities and make it really give it a hype. But it was a good product at that time. And I have $1,000 for campaigning just, you know, to make flyers to, you know, so I, there's no way I can compete with them. The only way I can compete with them if I came up with a product that is way better than them. So I have to beat them not only in performance and result, but also in price. Otherwise, I won't have a place in the market. So this is what I did, and I gave this uh, study what's carried in Allure Imaging in Upland. Allure Imaging is one of the biggest uh, or the most established, really well known in Upland, California, and, and they have nice facility. So this was done with them, and then Dr. Norman Leaf in Beverly Hills, if, uh, if you heard of Leaf and Rusher, the other one also who did this study with me. Uh, and uh, I told them we had to compare, and they already know the product, so it, will be, it was very good to see. And you can see, uh, we beat, we, what we show in score and in time performance was not even something that they can come close to. This is more so we look at the overall, we look at the firmness and fine lines and wrinkles and texture of the cells to see, you know, what the people will say about it. And I was very pleased today when, before I started the lecture, some people came and talked to me about, they tried the product and they are telling me how, you know, how much it helped them and, and, and stuff. And, and it's really, I think this is what drives me to make me, you know, continue doing this is because I see everywhere I go, I have people who know it and people who come and say, you know, this helped this and this helped that. So it's really important to have a quality product, you know, and, and, and not do the marketing. Let the, let, the, uh, let the product speaks. In the U.S., when I started, uh, I didn't sell my product. What I did is actually, if I see a doctor or I meet the doctors, I give them the product for free. And I said, Try it with your patient. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, you call me, I'll come pick it up. And if you sell anything, we'll split it 50-50, literally. So this is what I did. So imagine I, every clinic that we have right now, I have started that way. So I say, listen, it's consignment. Just keep it there. We'll come. My staff will come. We'll put the decoration, everything. You sell, good. You don't sell or anything, problem. Just call us and we'll pick it up. And, and guess what? We had right now almost... A lot, a lot. Uh, you can say almost uh, 1,800 clinics uh, carry our products, and extremely loyal. We have extremely loyal followers. Uh, celebrities do it. Uh, I mean, we have really, and it, it speaks a lot. Uh, I mean, it's really is a good way to to come to the market. So these are the first two products that I came up. With. Actually, I came up with the first first because they want to see if you know how that will work. And then everybody say, hey, I need something for under the eye. It's, it will help, so it was a compliment. Uh, 